The following contest, depending on us disagreeing enough for it to matter, is for the Tito Championship. First, presenting the challenger, the Nate Damn Z. And your two doofs on wrestling champion, King Blackbird. Ow. Yes. <laughs> I'm a king now. Sure. Yes. Well, you see, there was a tournament in Rio de Janeiro to win the mantle of Internet Wrestling Commentary King that had been uh, vacated by a certain someone whose name we can't mention, and he can't mention why he's not a king anymore, but that's how it won. That's, how, that's what happened. Sure. And also I got this title, which has a little crown on it, so it fits. It's the world title, so I am king of the world! Okay. And yes, that was a long way to go for that joke, but I did it. So now I have both! And I'm very shiny. Hold on. Oh, look at me now. Who do you think you are, Becky Lynch? Yes! Uh -huh. <laughs> well, something to say about that, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, Survivor Series, a uh, pay-per-view that has a special place in my heart because it's the first one I signed up to watch. Oh, yeah! I had just started watching Raw on a regular basis to hopefully catch Bailey, and I got sucked in by the whole SmackDown invading Raw's angle, as silly as it was, and here we are. You know, so, the, it's funny you mentioned Becky Lynch. Uh, yeah. Last year... Is where the rise of the man started last yeah, Survivor Series. She got punched true. in the face because the Raw. She was on SmackDown invading Raw, and that's when Becky or uh, Nia Jax accidentally bloodied her face and yeah. got that image. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. year, it's three brands because they brought up NXT. Yeah. So it's Raw versus SmackDown versus NXT, and boy, things are interesting now with the NXT side. Oh boy. And we'll get into that. Wow. Yeah, um. So I have no idea what the card is, so this will be interesting. Yeah, and again, we still haven't seen SmackDown yet because... Yeah, it does, it, we're filming like, this on a Saturday, and they don't put it on Hulu till Sunday. Yeah, and you know, we started doing this on Saturday because of SmackDown being on Friday, and I want to make sure the card is finalized. Of course, that's never guaranteed. But again, because the NXT thing, and they have War Games tonight... Yeah, okay. So, first thing I have here is... Uh, Lyra Ross versus Angel Garza for the Cruiserweight title, which is on NXT now. Yeah, I was going to say, is that still a thing? Yeah! Is Lyra Rush still the champion? Yes! Or, uh, actually, guys, if he is the champion, because I had no idea if he was or not. Yeah, he is the champion. I'm going to go with Leo, because if nothing else, they're going to want, after him trying to quit, I'm sure they want to keep him around and keep him happy, so... Yeah, I think so, too. And again, if, if they're going... If the Cruiserweight title still has its thing of being a pre-show... Uh, it usually doesn't change hands until like a really to like it's WrestleMania. One of the big so, ones, yeah. the WrestleMania. Although Survivor Series so. is one of the big ones, but I still think they're gonna keep on Leo. So yeah. we are off to start of green. All right, now here's where it gets interesting. Okay. Since the Universal title is being defended and the WWE title is being defended, they're also gonna defend the NXT title, and Adam Cole is the champion right now. Okay. But we don't know who he's facing yet. That'll be decided tonight at War Games. Okay. And the. It's either going to be Killian Dane, uh, I forget his first name, I said Priest, or uh, Pete Dunn. Those those guys the are going to bruiser fight. Yes, those guys are going to fight to determine who is going to face Adam Cole, baby. Okay. Okay, see, I'm only really familiar with Cole and Dunn. Uh... You don't remember Killian Dane? Uh, great okay, run yeah. on SmackDown yeah, as yeah, part I of do Sanity. Yeah, so I don't think they're going to give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, first, I am going to pick Dunn to win on War Games tonight and go face Cole, but I think Cole's going to retain. So I don't know how you want to score that. Yeah, see, I, I'm doing the same thing. I think, uh, like, I've, a lot of predictions I've watched, well, I, I've watched Cultaholic and I've watched uh, Brian Zane, but they think Dunn's going to win, but I think Cole's going to retain. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it would be a real interesting to have the title change on a big main event like, main roster pay-per-view. But I think they they probably still want the NXT title to change on an actual NXT. Yeah, I didn't even think about that far. It's just, I haven't even watched just from what I've seen of them crashing the two other shows. They are pushing Adam Cole. Yeah. So, so, that's my reasoning, but you're probably right. Yeah, but also, uh, well, we'll get into more of this later. All right, the Women's Survivor Series match. Team Raw is... Flair, Natalia, the Kabuki Warriors, and Sarah Logan. Oh, Remember her? Yeah. 
versus Team SmackDown. Uh, Banks, Carmella, Brooke, uh, Evans, and Cross versus Team NXT. R uh, Ripley and four to be determined. Oh, yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. A lot of it's gonna be determined this tonight. This is gonna on... be on the female war games. Thing. Yeah, war games. After that, so um, I'm gonna go with Team SmackDown. Uh, well, not, not SmackDown, Team NXT. Okay. I, I think that's going to be part of the... They, they really want to make NXT look good now that it's on TV and it's two hours and everything. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a good place to do it. Uh, I'm going to go with Team Raw. Okay. And uh, if, if we're going to pick Soul Survivors, I think it's going to be Flair. Because they're, they're really pushing Charlotte again and they love Charlotte. So. Okay. Um, so, since I picked Team NXT up. And the other four are to mm. be determined. Uh, and I do like Rhea Ripley, so I'll yeah. go with her to be the right. sole survivor. And uh, I think a lot of this is going to be decided as tonight on Twitter. So follow me at Pony underscore talk. Yeah. Uh, and, and do that while we're watching the pay-per-view, because I always live tweet. And again, I think a lot of this stuff is going to be announced there, and we'll settle that. So it's going to be real interesting. Yeah. Actually. Like uh, the men's survivors match. Survivor Series match. You got Team Raw, Rollins, Owen, Orton, McIntyre, and Ricochet versus Team SmackDown, Reigns, the false King Corbin. I am the King. I'm better than him. Well, you're not wrong there. <laughs> uh, Ali, Shorty G, and Braun Strowman versus Team NXT. Who knows? Really? Okay. We don't know. There again, determined that I, I think I read Triple H is going to be involved on Team NXT because of course he is. Huh. I am going to go Team Raw with Rollins being the sole survivor because they're still trying to push him. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go Team NXT. Honestly, I think okay. they want to try to make them look strong. Okay. I was originally gonna go with team. Originally gonna go with team uh, SmackDown and maybe the Big Dog. Being that, that, that was one I was considering. They keep going back and forth, and plus, I think just the way they've been doing the storylines, I think Corbin and Reigns are gonna uh, cost each other and get eliminated. You find some way where they're gonna be eliminated, Amazing. and then we continue their feud because I we we know at TLC they're gonna have a dog collar match. Is that a real thing? Yes, but it hasn't been a thing in like since the '80s. So. Because he's the big dog, you see. But yeah. he might not be a big dog. He might have tiny little testicles. Well, okay, one, that whole promo is stupid. Why couldn't he just say that Roman had been neutered? Yeah. Because yeah. Vince McMahon finds testicles funny. It's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm going with Team XT. Uh, if Triple H is on it, I think he'll be the sole survivor. <laughs> but, again, once I know, I'll tweet out and have a finalized prediction. All right, this one we do know, though. Uh, tag Team Championships. Uh, tag Team Champions fighting. Okay. You got uh, Viking Raiders versus New Day versus Undisputed, Undisputed Era. I'm going to pick the Viking Raiders because I really want them to get a win. I'm going to pick uh, the Undisputed Era. I was going to say, the Undisputed Era would be my like a close second guess yeah. for me, but I think with the push they get anyway, they're still going to look strong. Yeah. I don't know why the New Day's in there, but they could take the loss and everybody's still going to love yeah. them. So... The, uh, the mid-card champs. you got Styles versus Nakamura versus Roderick Strong. Also the Undisputed Era. This one I'm going to go with Roderick Strong of, with the North American Championship. I am too. Because that, that's the perfect one to make NXT look strong, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think they are going to make the Undisputed Era look very strong. So Ironic, considering who's in this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the women's champs. Becky versus Bailey versus Baszler. Who you got and why? And I'm pretty sure I know Actually, why. Actually, oh. I am going to go again, because I've been thinking long and hard about this one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it until you said it. <laughs> but, see, Becky versus Bailey is like a dream match on its own for me. But if I had Baszler in it, this is probably the match I'm most excited for it, because I've seen enough takesovers to know Baszler's awesome. But... As much as they're not, they're not screwing Bailey over for once, which I'm happy about that. They're making her a good champion, making her a strong champion, and she's a really good heel. But compared to the other two, she's not getting nearly as much of a push. Plus, they seem to be hyping up the Baser versus Becky aspect of the match more. Based on what I've seen, I'm still behind on like on the Raw. So I think Baser's gonna win. And Bailey's gonna eat the pin, so Becky still looks strong. 
See, I've been going back and forth on this one a lot. Yeah. Because I had that thing, too. I feel, I feel like Bailey's kind of in there just to eat the pin, because as far as I know, Baszler is still undefeated in NXT, and they probably don't want to give that up well, yet. Well, no, she's a two-time champ. She lost to Kyrie okay. Sane. Oh, I think right. that's the only time she's right. lost right. that I'm aware of. Yeah, but, okay. But, but, you know... Yeah, they, they, she, the fact that she's still NXT Women's Champ, like, two years? A yeah. year after she yeah. got it back from Kyrie. So, you know. they, but, you know, the, and there is a big story to tell with Becky and Baszler. Yeah, that, that promo when the Baszler yeah. interrupts the interview was great. But, because they haven't mentioned Bailey so much, because they're like, you know, oh, I'm going to keep an eye on Bailey, but I'm, I'm focused on you, but I'm going to watch Bailey. I feel if they would tell a good story for once, Bailey's going to surprise everybody and, and probably pin Becky. I don't know if they'll have her pin. Basically, but she's going to do something to come back. So, But I also feel like Becky winning to keep her strong would is, be a good, is, way, a good way to go. So I think, you know what? We're going to disagree, and uh, I'm just going to have fun with this. I'm going to pick Bailey. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm gonna Let pick the record girl. show that I am sticking with my official pick of Baszler, but I hope you're right. Yeah. I will t gladly take the punishment if that's what that means. Yeah. Well, again, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that's what they do. Universal Championship, The Fiend versus Daniel Bryan. The Fiend, are we fucking riot, Vince? Yeah, yeah I think The Fiend's gonna win. <laughs> it's got keep him strong. It's gonna be a good match. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fan it's, it's, freaking tastic. I want to see what Bryan. I love Daniel Bryan. I love The Fiend, but you can't. He, he's the hottest thing in wrestling yeah. right now. Don't fuck this up again. Uh, I, I just I'm interested to see how. Brian takes on the fiend, the yeah. supernatural entity. Yeah. So. And hopefully we get his creepy new belt. Yes. I mean, the universal belt does look pretty cool in blue, but, you know, I was hoping it, for something more. Yeah, I, I really do like the idea that, like, maybe the fiend has his own custom belt when yeah. he's on. It's probably just going to be the blue belt, yeah. which is going to be weird under the, it's going to look purple under the red lighting if they do that. Probably. I think that's yeah. how it works. Because it, it, the red belt looked really good under the lighting. It, it bleached out. It just worked, it worked really well. And finally... WWE Championship, Lesnar versus Rey Mysterio in No Holds Barred, Ooh. No Disqualification Match. Okay. See, this is one I could go either way. Right? I would love for Mysterio to win. It would be a great way to get this, either end the story or just keep it going. But it, it just feels like history is repeating itself with Brock. Yeah, of course that's why I thought the last time I bet on Brock and I fucking lost. Yeah. But I just... Again, mainly, I uh, like. I feel it's too early to take it off Brock, if only because I don't want Kofi's loss to be for fucking nothing. Because mm. that was that would have been a great match if they let it be a match. Because yeah. people point out like this is probably a good match because the last few matches Brock's had have been really good. Have been against smaller guys. Yeah. The David Goliath thing works. He when he cares and he is a pro and he works with. He does that very well. Yeah. And I think that's what it could be, especially no holds barred. I feel like Dominic and Kane Velasquez are probably getting involved. And it might look like Ray is going to win, but I think my heart is telling me at the end Brock is going to win. But it may either continue this feud to another one, or when Kane comes back from Injury. his surgery, or maybe even Dominic. Who knows? But I th I would lose my shit if we went through all this all of a sudden Dominic yeah. is the new championship. <laughs> like not even a bad yeah. way. I would just like I would soak up so, the smart tears. Yeah. So, but I'm going to go with Lesnar. Okay, and I'll, I'll go with Mysterio for no other reason to have something different. I hope it's Mysterio. Yeah, like, I, yeah I'd like to be wrong on this one. I wouldn't mind either that, but... Okay, so that is uh, our picks. And as, as as the new custom, I have no idea what the punishment's supposed to yes. be, so let's hear it. Uh, it's it's still food-related. i got to start, it's either movie or food-related. But, since it's a Survivor Series... I don't know. Can you survive Tabasco-flavored jelly beans? Oh. Probably not, but okay. Yes! Eat this whole thing. But, oh, the whole thing. Yes. Okay. The whole thing. I don't know if you want to record the whole thing, eating the whole thing, but you got to eat it. But how much do you think this cost? I don't know, $3? Yes, $3. Oh. At five, $3. Why? Why is this $3? I saw them in Target, like the 7-Up the ones, yeah. were like a buck seventy-five. Like, that's what I should pay for this. This tiny thing. The only thing I can think of why that one's more expensive is Tabasco charged more for the branding. That might be it, because like the five below ones are more expensive and there's stuff I haven't seen. 
I was going to try to open it and smell it, but I can't open it, so fuck it. But yes, Tabasco flavored jelly beans. Don't want to eat that. Uh, I don't want to, but this is like, this is going to be the thing where if I'm the loser, this is going to be an entertaining video because I cannot handle spicy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can go kind of on it, but I've never been too big a fan of Tabasco itself. And yeah, you've cashed in, so if you lose, yeah. you got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd rather do that than the horror movie. <laughs> I am king! And I will continue to be king! But only this one's on, on the line. I'm keeping this one for a while. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on it then. We'll have, uh... We'll see what happens with this one later. But for now! <laughs> yes! Fear my scepter! We will see you on Sunday! In the camera!